It's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're enjoying my list of content, please remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button guys. You gotta hit the bell icon that's next to it because that alerts you that a new video has been posted. Also check out the community tab because I put out what videos will be posted. Um, I give you guys updates on anything that's happening and I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. So it's double Lucifer episodes this week so i did supernatural last week um i had some issues with this week so this is coming out a little later than i wanted it to so um last episode we had uriel now i mixed up uriel uriel was actually supposed if christianity was john the baptist that's was uriel and he also played a part in the plagues of egypt not um Sodom and Gomorrah. i don't know why i said that name um also, um, we had Azrael was also mentioned, another angel, which is the angel of death. And they made her a she, but you guys know, if you guys know, angels technically shouldn't have a gender. But we're not going into a theological discussion. But those were the two angels that were, we saw one and one was mentioned. So that was kind of cool to hear more angels there. Um, last episode, I didn't think last episode would have ended the way it ended with Lucifer killing Uriel um, and I'm guessing this next episode and I'm hoping this next episode is them kind of just letting us see what this has done to Lucifer's psyche because Lucifer has never killed anyone um, Lucifer has always dealt with the dead so they're already dead He's he had no play in them dying and then to boot the person his first kill is a family member a brother so that's not going to be good. Um, it's going to be interesting if we ever see an episode with how, with God, how God feels about what's happening. Um, I still stick with my guns and say I want, I still blame the mom a little bit for the situation that happened. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. So yeah, we're going on to episode uh, six, which is called Monster. Oh God, mm. we'll see how that one goes. So that being said, let's jump into this reaction. We are gathered here today to mourn a great loss. Really? Single life is dead. <laughs> Y'all got too much time on your hands. I'm not coming to a wedding like this. She's gorgeous even as a freaking zombie. Damn! I've got help! Someone call the ambulance! Please, this is real! Somebody call the ambulance! You see, this is why you don't have nonsense like this. Damn. Okay, we are getting to see how Lucifer is dealing with the death. So he's just drinking. Sex overloading. Yeah. No, I'm here to check on you. You didn't show for our session. Yeah, yeah, I know. I canceled that. Yeah, which is odd because you never cancel. Is everything okay? Ooh, it's fine. Just a little family drama. That's all. Nothing to worry about. My brother died. A man of you? Ooh, no, no, no. I, another brother. I have many. Lucifer, I'm so sorry. That's fine. What's done is done. Lucifer, patients often avoid sessions precisely when they need it the most. When the feelings are too painful. Are you sure you don't need to talk? Well, I think there's a few other things I'd rather do. No, Lord. No, okay, Lucifer, no. No, no. No, we're not doing that anymore, and you know that. Well, what's the point? You wouldn't understand me anyway. You think everything I say is a metaphor. Now, if you don't mind, you're killing my buzz. Yeah, yeah he's mad. If you change your mind, my door is always open. So he's in anger stage. Feel free to shut it. Damn! If he's so bad for Lucifer, is it Halloween back again? Is she on a sex swing? 
baby, we can offer that. Mad key. You too much of that. Seriously? A sex one? I know, right? You want a hot one? Oh god. Okay, if we're gonna <laughs> I love me. Rule number one, and I can't believe I'm saying this, no sex win. You said I could bring my furniture. A sex win is not furniture. We have to agree on what's gonna be in the common area, Maze. Fine, I don't agree with your cheesy decorations. You live with a child now, you're gonna have to rethink how you look at things. <sighs> Do I? Oh, damn. Maybe living together was a bad idea. Yep. Now that's something we can agree on. <laughs> oh, these two are funny together. Anyone see the shooter? Yeah, we're still calling through the guest list, but so far, no. Everyone's focused on the ceremony. Dead center shot. Looks like the what? The groom was hitting the arm? Yeah. So he botches the first shot and aces the second. second. Yeah, that'll make right, sense. Was the intended target, and the groom just got in the way. Why would anybody want to do this? Lord, he just wasted. Ah, devil's food cake. I've definitely come to the right place. Lord, Lucifer. I realize you're late, yeah? Oh, and you're eating possible evidence. You look like hell. I didn't, not heard that before. Are you drunk? I wish. Pesky supernatural metabolism keeps getting in the way. Still, doesn't stop me trying, no? Have an injured groom and a deceased bride, hmm? Got to that till death to his part nonsense quickly, didn't they? Mm -mm. I suffered a gunshot wound to the chest. Do you want to work this case with me or not? Of course I do. Every killer must be punished. Good. Then you stay here, find some water, calm down. I'm going to talk to some witnesses. Pull yourself together. Oh, no, please, Lucifer. Hello, bridesmaid. Which one of you horrifying zombies wanted the bride dead then, eh? I guess. She wanted you to lose weight, didn't she? You to cover your tattoos, forced you to buy a T-length dress that does nothing for your cankles. And did any of you want to wear this hideous zombie makeup? I wanted to ruin her wedding. Aha. Uh -huh. I told her ex-boyfriend Jason where the wedding was going to be. This is all my fault. Oh. Uh, what? No, 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 no. Come, come. Don't do that. Guilt is such a useless emotion. It's completely unflattering on such a beautiful face. <laughs> Oh, careful, Lucifer. Oh, my God, Lucifer. Detective, I found you a lead. Where, in her mouth? Yes, actually. Imagine what I can find in other orifices. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> what's going on? Well, I know what's going on, but... It's gotten into you. Have you heard getting the hang of this? You making out with witnesses? Completely inappropriate. When are you going to get it? Inappropriate is what I do. Can I talk to you, please? Yeah, what's up with him? Looks like he just rolled out of bed or something. He's just such a big dark. Look, is he going to be a problem? Because you know I wouldn't mind if you sent him home. No, not a problem. You sure? Yep. Yeah, I was just body body last episode. Calm yourself. Large caliber bullets in the rifle. Long range. Have a team searching a wider perimeter for more evidence. Background check on everyone at the wedding. Oh lord. Hello, Badger. I've seen that in a while. God. Lucifer, what are you doing? Just having a little chit chat with our friend here. Care to know what I've learned? Well, he's innocent. You tortured the suspect? Didn't lay a finger on the spineless cretin. Come on, the guy's sitting on the floor crying. Crying because of a woman, not me. Leaving the park on the service road, he bumped into a wedding musician. Didn't get a name, but he had a buzz cut and a guitar case. The guitar. No, they booked a DJ, not a live band. Trust me, the crying guy isn't lying. Maybe, but maybe there wasn't a guitar in that case. It could be a weapon. So you think our musician might be the shooter? You're welcome. Excuse me, <laughs> what you just did in there is incredibly inappropriate. Are you trying to get in trouble or are you trying to piss me off? I did what I had to do. Got results, didn't I? Don't care how effective you are, I will bench you. I'm appreciating how we see Lucifer deal with grief. I take it you heard about Uriel. Oh, he's out. Probably in the middle of some jury waiting like nothing happened. Not everyone grieves the same. 
this book. He's never been one to trace his emotions. Mm. He's always hidden in the facades. That's all. Yep. You know, a rebellion here and that whole day. When I first heard of Uriel's death, I wanted to blame Lucifer. Then I realized I was just as much to blame, if not more. None of this would have happened. Another know. But I also know it's possible to regain. You see? Had a manipulator coming. Mm-hmm. Both can. No, Mom. It's too late. You would still be alive if it wasn't for me. Come. There's something I need to say. So we found something near the service road. Look at this. It's a nice little hiding spot behind some bushes. Straight ground, clear view of the stage. Someone with a rifle could have made this shot. Freddy's Dutch oven. Love this place. Unfortunate name, but best stroop waffle in Hollywood. Napkin is definitely from today. So if the shooter bought this stroop, whatever you call it, with his credit card, we can track his identity. So we need to get to the food truck and talk to the owner. I will put out a bolo. What is it with you and bolos? Why don't you just use Freddy's Dutch oven app? Gives you the current locale. You never know when you're in the mood for a good strooping. <laughs> He is right. Dan mostly just said, I'm aware of the bolo. Stay here. Don't move. I'll do the talking. Sir, earlier today you served a man with a buzz cut, possibly carrying a guitar case. Does that ring a bell? If I may, one order of Oli Boland, please. What? Oli Boland literally means oily balls. Tastes better than it sounds, believe me. Thank you. I remember anyone like that. Uh, but I wasn't here during the morning shift. Um, Freddy, I forgot to tell you. A guy like that was here when I opened. He was asking if you'd be around. Asking for me specifically? Actually, you know what? Give me that two orders, please. Shut I'm up, Lucifer. <gasps> Damn! Everybody down! What in God's place is going on? Good ass shot. What they all have in common? Premeditated. The shooter came here to find him, then went to shoot the bride, then came back when he knew Freddy would be here. The hell are they in common? The guy's got a wrist. God, who's next? <laughs> He's not going to tell you. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, twice now today I've been denied snacks. Got change for a hundred. <sighs> If I could just find a connection between our two victims. What the hell do they have in common? They have nothing in common. Deliberate. Yeah. Find a link between these two. Teeny tiny donuts or Cool Ranch puffs. Lucifer, you can't just steal food in the middle of the precinct. Why are you gonna put me on the naughty step? Hey, monkey. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. Work got busy. Yes, I really, really want to take you trick or treating. But if mommy or daddy can't make it home in time, yeah, what he left on us? Take you, okay? Oh, he already left. What? She went to the maze room. She ran out of screaming. Oh lord. Who's watching you now? Me. She take me trick or treating? No. Mommy, please, I promise I'll be good. It's not you. She's worried about. She love a maze. favor to ask you that's lucifer's thing i know but i'll never find a sitter this late and trick-or-treating is really important to trixie maze will you please take her for me i'll take your offspring for a walk well she's not a dog but thank you <laughs> and I, take her early by three great guess after parties don't start till three anyway not 3 a.m 3 p.m i want her home before dark and do not take her to any parties <sighs> lame but whatever you're okay Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, oh, did you see the costume? I laid it on the bed. Uh, Damn. What's wrong? I told mommy I wanted to be a princess when I was seven. Now I'm eight. <laughs> Damn. Halloween's supposed to be the one night you better be whatever you want. Ah, uh, Trixie, don't say anything weird. What do you want to be? I've been talking to the food truck owner's wife. She doesn't recognize his Did Dan lose weight or is just me? 
Well, the actor who plays that. Why are you looking at this the wrong way? This is Loomis. I'm sorry. I know you're going through a lot. I have one more question for you, okay? Do you recognize this man? Yes, it's Edgar. The mirror. No. How do you know him? We've worked together. I'm a doctor. He's a lawyer. Yeah. Handles many of our hospitals malpractice. So there's something to do with hospitals then. The other victim? Yes, but the connection we've been looking for isn't between them. It's between you, the spouses. Can you give us a list of all the cases that Edgar litigated for you? When are you going to tell me what's going on with you? Do you want to talk about it? Why would I want to do that? Because that's what partners do. Pass. Damn. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, I don't know, maybe I can help. Yeah. They'll give me a warm, fuzzy hug. They won't release the damn case files. <sighs> And it looks like Detective Douche is the one who needs that hug. Mm, oh my god. What was that? I told you something's going on with him. I'm getting worried. Yeah, well, honestly, Chloe, we have bigger things to worry about right now. I know. All right, there you go. Merry Christmas. Or should I say, Happy Halloween? Are these the files? Where did you get these? Well, if you ask permission, people can say no, but flash a badge to the right set, and voila. This is mine. All right, chill out, Daniel. Wow. boring between friends. <laughs> At least I didn't have to use this. Whoa! Deny I did what I had to do. Oh, please don't give me that crap. You never do what you have to do, Lucifer. You only ever do what you want to. That is not oh, true. Oh Lord. A lot of things that I didn't want to do. Oh really? Yes. Because if I only ever did what I wanted to do, then right now I'd do this. Not so far. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you so surprised, Detective? I'm the devil, remember? I'm evil. No, what you are is off this case. You go home now. You're done. Yeah, I'm still living a mom for this. You okay? Let's get you checked out and return the files. What if we hold off for a bit? But there's still a killer out there. Yeah, you love to cut cameras, don't you? Are you suggesting we keep them? More like boy. Where are we going, Mom? You'll see soon enough. When you boys were young, Uriel always playing pranks on Lucifer to get your father's attention. You know I knew it, right? I would have never got in trouble for it because you took the blame. Just looking out for my little brother, Mom. No, it's more than that. You have welcomed responsibility your entire life. Don't you deserve a break? Mm-hmm. The manipulator's coming. Don't you think I feel responsible too? You should. All of this fighting has been over me. Uriel's gone forever because of me, not you. How can you say that, Mom? You did everything that you could do. You volunteered to go back to hell. You stepped up and did the right thing. Did she really volunteer? Because she could have called Uriel herself if she really wanted to go. You see? You see? You see? She's trying to make everybody get it done now. I really think so. Mm-hmm. Yes, just, just puppeteering. And where down we go? This is where Lucifer buried your brother. Mm. Oh, you Let your feet run yeah. Lucifer, get, I need you to take some therapy. Sorry. Oh no, go away. Hmm. <laughs> Not your fault. <laughs> Wrongful death suit thrown out for lack of evidence. Frustrating. Motive. Yeah. Plaintiff Wes Williams he sued for his wife Cassandra's death after she lost the battle with. Oh man, I can't even pronounce this. Lymphangiomyomatosis. Yeah, lung disease. Yeah, well, look at Wes blamed Cassandra's physician on Dr. Sidney Loomis and the hospital's lawyer Edgar O'Malley that the case thrown out. Let's see if uh, Wes Williams is in the system. No criminal record, but he fits the description. You just said it. Oh, wow. ATF. He's an ATF agent. Nicknamed the Ghost. Served multiple assignments in Mexico trying to. No wonder he's such a great shot. Long Ridge Marksmanship. He's making counterfeit badges for Strode Pharmaceuticals. And there's the um, guitar case. That, what is she? Oh, and what are you, young lady? She's 
than a Mars. Duh. <laughs> okay. Duh. And she got a whip. Oh, la, don't be a thug, Mace. <laughs> she can't have all the candy. Lord. Are you giving up cash? Wow. I expected worse. I wish you were a cops now. Well, I, uh, I did bring something. What did you bring? I see. Yeah. Turn around. Are you going to show her your real face? Mace? I'm ready. Cool. Well, it's Halloween. Oh, Maze. Maze. Maze won me over. Ew. Why did you bring me here? You have been so focused on Blaine. You haven't let yourself breathe. Why did he do this? Lucifer was just Go, Mom, not Lucifer, father. Yo, yeah, there we go. Everybody gonna blame God now. How did he let this happen? That's what you wanted. You got the first bond on your side. Mm-hmm. I'm done trying to please someone who isn't even here. Yep. She won now. Out. All of you out, go on! Damn. Damn. Um, don't drink that. Anything connecting our shooter to Strode Pharmaceuticals? Yeah, right here. West Williams' wife took part in one of their clinical drug trials, a promising new treatment for her lung disease. What? It also says that the trial was run by a Dr. Sally Peterson. They're a husband and wife team. Great. Who's the target? Both. Well, it could be either one. We've got to get to both of them. Yeah, before he does. No way. Ooh, he already there. But we already knew he was there. I mean, he already... Oh wow. Oh, oh Lucifer, don't be suicidal. Go on, man. What are you waiting for? Just shoot me right now, please. Hurry up, Mr. Shooter, sir. I mean, could you be any worse than a shot? He doesn't want to shoot you. That's why he's missing. Anticlimactic. You. Why didn't you shoot me? Shoot you? I was standing right here, fair game. Why didn't you do it? Because you didn't deserve it. You idiot. Lucifer. The doctor, the lawyer, that woman, they didn't kill your wife. They're not responsible. But you know that. You hold someone else accountable, don't you? I hadn't been on missions so long. Been home when Cassandra needed me. She just gonna die. It sooner. You don't know that. She'd still be alive. Gonna take it slow and still die. It's not vengeance you want. It's punishment. Like you want Lucifer. You want punishment, but that's not your fault either. Well, now you've got it. How did you find us? Just called the station chief. But you saved that woman's life. Oh, I couldn't care less about that woman's life. So what, you were just trying to get yourself killed? No, I don't buy it. Every time you say that you don't care, 
or you're evil or you're the devil. I know that's not who you really are. You don't know a thing about who I am, detective, or what I've done. If you want to be punished for something, so we've been acting out recently, hmm. just talk to me at least for a bit, please. I just want to understand. You can't understand, detective. Because you don't believe? No one can. You never will. Ooh. Well, if you won't talk to me, then please talk to someone else. Keep a therapist. Look at the trash. Wow. Please don't tell me they ate all that candy. No. Oh, this gonna go though. Are you ready to talk about your brother? His name is was Uriel. Uriel. And ever since he died, I've been having this strange feeling, something I've never felt before. Guilt. Guilt. Why do you feel guilty? I killed him. Never killed anyone before. I only punished those already dead, you know, back when I used to run hell. But a stubborn Uriel, he, he gave me no choice. He came down from the she ain't believe in this. The deal that I'd made with Dad, intent on killing a detective or smiting Mum out of existence. Lucifer. He brought lights no. to you up. Oh, God. Oh God, is he gonna show? I can't keep track of all these elaborate metaphors. But it's not a metaphor. Seriously, you need to believe what I'm saying, otherwise you'll never understand. I'm a monster. A monster who deserves to be punished. Tyler loves episode. I don't believe you feel that way. <sighs> I need you to be honest with me. Uh oh. Completely honest. The uh, -uh. don't ask for that. About who you are. Oh God. Completely honest. Wrong, wrong deity, but okay. Are you sure? Yes. No. Yes, I'm sure. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not ready for that. Our entire relationship is all about. You're ready for that. Getting to know the real Lucifer. Don't do that. No more lies. D don't do that. Metaphors. It's not a metaphor. Very well. Uh, uh, uh. Lucifer, don't do it. Don't do it, Lucifer. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, Jesus. Wrong deity again. Oh, that's fair. That's pure fair. She felt that she can't move. She can't say none. She is frozen. You, oh no, she crying. Oh, don't cry. Oh, Lord. She crying. Back to back great episodes. Back to back. Season two, you, 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 in, 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 how much episodes is that? It's, in six episodes, you have basically surpassed season one. Wow. That's amazing. That, that is great writing. That is, that's brilliant writing. That you surpassed season one in six episodes. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Again, the ending is the endings are just fabulous. I didn't think he would actually show someone his real face, besides Nazuki and and, and and those people. He just do it to scare that he'll never see back again. He showed it to Doctor Linda, but then 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 she asked for it. You you asked for that, Doctor Linda. Um, yeah, I think Doctor Linda had a very real reaction, cause. 
all this time you 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 always assume he's talking metaphorically and because I feel like because he said he killed someone she realized that okay I need to get the truth from him I can't have him using metaphors not realizing whatever Lucifer said is not a metaphor it's real and that's how she reacted my girl was so scared that she was frozen she 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 the only thing that she could do was cry that was brilliantly done she just she just sat there she cried and i think that's a real reaction like like this person that you you just think it's strange but you have fun with them you you, you love listening to their problems you think they're good per, they're a nice person to be around is really the devil yeah you're gonna react the same way she actually slept, slept with the devil. That, I know that's all going through her mind. She's like, I slept with the devil. I talked to the devil. I helped the devil. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I, that was great. That was great. And I actually like this case. It was anticlimactic how they got the villain, but it is what it is. But I like that once again, it's a case that really... What the 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 shooter and Lucifer had a lot in common. They wanted punishment. He felt like if he didn't take missions, didn't do this, he would be able to be with his wife. They would have found a found out early that she had a lung disease and deal with it, and she might have died. Lucifer feels like it's his fault. His brother is dead, and he wants punishment for it. Now, the little manipulator mom has now gotten a mini deal on her side. And I love how everyone forgets that if mom really wanted to stop all of this, she could have called Uriel herself. She could have called Uriel herself. But she didn't. She always come into Lucifer. She's always coming to Amelia saying, take me back to hell. Take me back to hell. I'll, it'll do anything for you boys. But never go herself. Like, everyone forgets that. Now she got a mini deal completely on her side and technically she got Lucifer on her side but I feel because of Lucifer's uh, affection for Chloe he will never be a hundred percent on his mom's side well whatever plan she has because of Chloe and I feel like then the mom is gonna put her her claws into Chloe this is how I'm seeing this going down but two amazing episodes back to back i just want to know the aftermath of now dr linda knowing the truth because i'm sure she can now figure out that maze is a demon um i, I want to know how the relationship now morphs because she now knows everything that lucifer is saying is true she's gonna have questions or she might completely avoid them who knows but i'm interested to see what this where it goes the story goes now brilliant setup for season two i'm enjoying this thoroughly so with that being said if you enjoyed my reaction please remember to like the video i need you guys to hit the subscribe button and leave your comments in the comment section guys remember a like a subscribe a comment or even a share goes a very long way in expanding this channel and i thank you guys for all your support i know we had some technical issues but thank you for being patient with me with that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode bye